everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site finishing up the last couple things on the shed and the root cellar before I head back into the main house and start working in there. Uh, the thing in particular that I'm working on right now is the hatch that goes down into the basement of this shed. I want to put a restraint on it so it opens a certain amount and then gets caught by the restraint so I don't have to depend on it leaning on something behind. Uh, as it is at the moment, there's a shelf behind there so it can kind of rest on the shelf, but what if I put things on the shelf that it's going to be like knocking them over or whatever. I just like it to open a certain amount and then stop. So I'm going to be using this. I have been thinking about using a chain for it. Uh, you know, in the past, you know, when I have something open up, I'll have a chain, uh, you know, control how much it can open. But this is some nylon strapping material that uh, came with the building supplies. Uh, and I figured, you know, this is nice and strong and this will work out uh, totally fine. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is how I'm uh, going to be preparing this. I mean, I've got some screws and some washers that I'll use to, uh, to screw it down, but, uh, you know, I figured that, you know, I might as well uh, clip it to be the right length so that I don't have, you know, you know more than I need. I'm going to be using some items that are on my uh, everyday carry bag. I'm going to be using a knife and to cauterize the ends to melt all these little fibers so they don't go running away, uh, I'm going to be using a magnifying glass. And I wanted to show this because I think a lot of times people talk about, you know, what's the, the ideal stuff in your bug out bag, you know, what, what are the perfect preps, you know, the top 10 preps you need to survive the alien invasion, zombie apocalypse and everything. Uh, but the most important preps that you have are the ones that you happen to actually have access to. It's nice to have a variety of things that are available to you, but in a pinch, it's good to be able to utilize what you have. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, there's all sorts of different ways I could melt this. One of my favorite ways is if you have a nice wood stove going, you just take it and touch it to the wood stove, and it gives it a nice, clean, cauterized end. But uh, what I'm going to be using, something I keep in my bug out bag, well, my everyday carry bag all the time, which is a uh, Fresnel magnifying glass. This is the kind that you use to magnify, uh, you know, a page if you want to be, you know, you have your heart of vision and you want to be reading from a book. But you can also use it to start fires. It's a very large gathering area to be getting heat from. And let's just uh, start melting. Where's my focus point? There it is. You can see how quickly it works right here. At the same time, as I'm using this, I'm also using sunglasses that were in my everyday carry bag. Okay, I got the focal point there. I'm just kind of moving across the top here, melting up the fibers. Um, but yeah, one, one, one of the great um, skill sets to have is to just be able to use whatever you have available to you. If I hadn't had this, I could have used a match, I could have made a fire, done it that way. But it's nice to have multiple approaches to do things, and it's nice to have the ability to utilize multiple approaches. Granted, if there was no sun today, this one wouldn't work very well. I'd just use one of the other ones. Here we go. I'm just melting all those fibers over so that they, they don't fray later on. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to put this together. I'm going to finish up the, uh, the door to the root cellar. And then, really, at this point, the next step is to go back into the house and, and do some more work in there. There are a few more walls that need to be set up, and um, you know, then we're going to be doing electrical. I did receive a call this morning that they're finally going to be sending the, uh, the siding material. It's supposed to come a week from today. Uh, and it sounds more real this time because I got a call from the actual distribution company. So they're going to be sending siding material, interior doors, the ridge cap to finish this thing up. A few, and I added a few extra things on there that I don't want to run to the hardware store for, like spray foam, some more nails, things like that. So that's it. I'm going to install this in there. Uh, and then uh, I think it's going on finishing up. This is kind of the home stretch we're just getting into now, now that we have all the, the basic structures completed. That's it. Thanks for watching.